What up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. And, well, interesting, interesting news, obviously, that we've heard the last few days. Sasha Banks released from her WWE contract. And at first it was reported WWE released her. And there's also reports that she had lawyers putting together um, a way to get her out of her contract. Uh, unfortunately, you know, a lot of WWE superstars have swelled heads. And when they become huge, they think they have a lot of control. Some do, don't get me wrong, because some can dictate creative control, but, <clears throat> excuse me, Sasha has done this on numerous occasions, she's like a little kid, she don't get her way, and she stays away, well, finally, I think the WWE said, well, we've had enough, and guess what, Sasha, we're calling your bluff, you want your release, you're gonna get it, now, Obviously, most people are thinking she'll go to AEW, but understand this. I do not believe Sasha has trademarked, trademarked her uh, Sasha Banks name. So if she does go elsewhere, she will be someone different. And in my eyes, she's been in the WWE since 2012. And you're talking 10 years. And if you go elsewhere under a different identity after being around that long, sometimes it don't work, to be quite honest with you. We'll wait and see what she does, where she goes, and what her ring name will end up becoming. But again, I mean, Sasha got too big for her britches, and you know, you work for a country, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'm tongue-tied today, guys. You work for a company, and you're under contract with that company, you know, you foul what's in the contract, but some of these people sort of shy away from it and think they can find loopholes and leeways and whatever good luck to sasha banks um to me if she goes anywhere else it it won't be the same and i'm a big fan of sasha banks but not being in the wwe is sort of like a little mind-blowing and then we have Vince McMahon stepping down as CEO. There are uh, allegations of sexual misconduct. Uh, it just never seems to end. And I, you know, I will say this. If anybody that's got a big name has done anything uh, sexually orientated against a woman or a man or whatever, sooner or later it comes out in the wash. It never goes away. So, I mean, honestly, I would have thought if Vince did something like this, it would have been during the Attitude Era when you had all those girls Braun Patty man, uh, panty matches, Stacy Keebler dancing on his desk. I mean, those are the days that you would have thought that Vince would have done something. But, you know, I'm not saying he's guilty and I'm not saying he's not. But obviously the board wants him to step down. Stephanie is going to take over as CEO. But I will say this, Vince had to make sure he made an appearance on last night's SmackDown. And it, it was, to me, it was like irrelevant 
to be there, but he wanted to make one last appearance as the CEO of WWE. So we'll we'll see where this develops. Um, I mean, I was I was watching some videos from the Sports Entertainer YouTube channel, and this I don't know where they get their information from because they said that Riddle was going to win the uh, belts from Roman Reigns would help from Randy Orton, and you know they said recently in the past that. Uh, uh, Seth Rollins was quitting WWE, going to AEW. Moxley was quitting AEW, going to WWE. This is all just... It reminds me of Sean's View Entertainment, but Sean isn't this bad. He'll read rumors and he'll twist them a bit and take them out of context. But this is something Sean wouldn't do, but the sports entertainer on YouTube, man, I mean, and, and you get millions and millions of views, but, you know, you, you, you feed into lies to wrestling fans. So, <clears throat> unbelievable. But, last night on SmackDown, Roman Reigns and Matt Riddle now, I was reading reports that the show, you know, I watched a lot of it, and the show really wasn't all that great until it got to the main event, and Riddle and Roman Reigns, which was his first defense since winning the unified titles at WrestleMania, um, put on a great main event. I thought the main event was really good. Um, it delivered, you know, both sides had chances for pinfalls, you know, throughout the match. And, uh, you know, it, 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 deep in my heart, I knew Roman wasn't losing coming back for his first title defense and coming back to SmackDown. But a lot of people think otherwise, they, or they thought otherwise. But it was a great match. Nonetheless, Roman ended up winning on a leap from Riddles, you know, coming off the top rope and Roman spearing him and getting the pin. And then the Usos come in and celebrate with Roman Reigns and I think the topper that capped the night was Brock Lesnar coming back, F5-ing everybody. So, what does this mean? Was this just a one-off for Lesnar? Or, you know, you know, the bottom line is, Roman Reigns said this, and he's totally accurate about this. Who is there? And he's right. Who is there? He has beaten everybody. And granted, the WWE, SmackDown, or Raw, well, Raw is more loaded than SmackDown, but SmackDown don't have a very loaded roster. And we'll have to wait and see what happens. Is Brock Lesnar back to build up towards SummerSlam in uh, late July? We'll have to wait and see. Um, but it was good to see Brock come back. And it was good to see Brock as he was when he left. He's the happy-go-lucky Brock. And I love this Brock Lesnar. I mean, when he was the beast in Carnage and his hair was cut short and he came out with Heyman, you know, after a while it got old for me. But this new gimmick of Brock Lesnar, I love it. Now, will Lesnar come back and get the titles from Roman Reigns? One has to wonder. Roman's had the belt for two years, the universal title. 
And uh, that's a long run in the modern day era. So we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, there you have it. Sasha gone. Vince McMahon steps down. Roman retains. And the return of Brock Lesnar. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you all next time on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel.